I lost track of how many times I saw the trailer for Hustlers in the cinema. I knew right from the start I, I wasn't interested in the movie. I didn't want to see it. It had that kind of a uh, kind of comedy feeling of these strippers fighting back against men and kind of robbing them. And I was just I, I wrote it off. I judged it for one thing, and I never gave it a shot. When it appeared on Amazon Prime, I thought, "What the hell? I've heard some good reviews." I'll give this thing a shot and it is way better than I ever could have imagined. I put my preconceptions onto it and I missed out on seeing something that was genuinely entertaining. And right from the start you're drawn into the world of these women and how everybody seems to be take, take, taking from them and they're not really getting a lot and they have to find their own way of making the best of their situation and that means taking these guys for a ride. They are their money. They, they, they have to work them to get the cash out of them. And it's all about drawing things out, teasing them and putting things at their own level. And we get to meet the characters from the start, a, a kind of new person into this strip club. And she's indoctrinated into the family, uh, thanks to Jennifer Lopez, who is this kind of matriarchal figure for a small group of them, showing her how to do the best things, how to dance, how to kind of uh, cajole the customers to get more money out of them, how to make things uh, last longer before um, letting them off the hook almost and pretty soon you see them going down this dark alley uh, after the financial crisis strikes and they start to fleece these Wall Street guys. They see it as social justice because these guys robbed everybody else so they're going to rob them. So they start to drunk and rob all these punters, starting to take the money off them, getting the cash, fleecing them and just throwing them away when they're done with them. And that leads to some conflict within the group because they know what they're doing really isn't right. But it's wonderfully set up. And this is based on a true story, an article that was written for, I forget the publication, but watching the movie, I think it's really well directed as well. That was one of the things that jumped out for me. Right from the opening shot, as you see Constant Wu in her job and then getting paid and where all that money starts to divvy up and disappear from, uh, it was wonderful to see. You get the introduction of J-Lo, who is this larger than life figure, this kind of person that everybody looks up to, that kind of pulls all the strings and drive everybody along. And then we get Julia Stiles, who is an interviewer, who is you know, interviewing Constance Wu's character and getting the backstory of everything that's going on. And it's just, I love the way they, they do small things throughout the movie. There is a moment where the conversation between Stiles' character and Wu just drops out as she stops recording it. And it almost feels like she's filling in the blanks for that part of the story until she phones her back up and it kicks back in to the story once more. It feels as if there's only certain parts that have been factually set up and the movie shows that in a nice visual way as well. When it gets to how they're getting their money, how they're creating this almost uh, family unit again uh, of robbers as they show them taking care of their family members, taking care of their surrogate family, how they all are warm and friendly but how it has this self-destruction almost built into it where they start to not just look at the guys that were uh, wrong to them, the financial Wall Street guys, but people who are really hurt by their actions. I was really drawn into this movie. It shows a different kind uh, to movie that I thought was advertised. It was really engaging. It was fun. There are wonderful performances on show here. And it kind of shows the, the sort of rise and fall of a few people. You know, you kind of see it in gangster movies where you have these people starting small, building their way up, getting a little bit too close to the sun and then getting burnt. It has the same impact here. And it's fun. It's really engaging watching these girls try kind of fleece and it kind of shows you both sides of them not always getting somebody but when they do taking things a little bit too far as team members drop out they draw in new ones who are a little bit more uh, reckless than the previous ones and start to cause most problems for these guys I just felt this was really engaging really surprising and rather worthwhile when watching I walked away from Hustlers going why why they always have these preconceptions sometimes. I miss out on great movies in the cinema. I hope you 
uh, didn't miss out on this one. If you did and you were a little bit dubious about checking it out, not sure that it was going to deliver, then this is a really good tale and I think it's well worth checking out. It's on Amazon Prime now if you want to check it out for free, like I did. Highly recommended. Let me know your thoughts on the movie in the comment box below. We'll see you next time on Man V Film.